Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my single player survival world. Today I have a bunch of projects to finish off. Last episode I was working on the chicken farm. I've actually done a little bit of work off camera just to get to the good bit because this right here is basically, I'm just going to explain how I did it so you guys can make one for yourself. And we're going to go grab those eggs and chuck them in there to start my chicken farm Pumping all those eggs and meat out because I am getting pretty low as you can see only 13 And we also have to chop down that um, wood farm down there and with that wood we can finish off the chest room So that'll be a good little episode for us today And we'll probably start on something new and also I've got a few things to talk about so let's jump straight into it here By showing you what I did with the chicken farm and actually that tree looks really odd. I just saw it there. I don't know if I've seen it in the previous episodes, but I'm pretty sure I didn't plant that. And we're on top of a mountain, and usually trees don't grow up here. Yeah, that's the only tree on top of this mountain. Okay, well, you are a miracle tree, and I will leave you there for Christmas. Next Christmas, if I'm still doing this series, I will put... I will hang up sheeps named Jeb on you. Oh no, what are sheeps meant to be named to make them all colourful? Notch or something, I don't know, one of the developer's names. I'm going to name some sheep, hang them up there and turn you into a Christmas tree. But anyway, back to the chicken farm. So what I decided to do here is two basic designs that you guys can copy and adapt to whatever situation. So, pretty much, water flows eight blocks. So what I've got here is seven blocks of stone and then one block up. But if the water goes down a block, it goes another eight blocks. That's how you can extend water. Like, I could bring it down here and bring in another eight blocks and etc, etc, all the way down, like, as far as you want. It just keeps flowing as long as you bring it down a notch. But yeah, so it goes eight, or it's going seven here, and then it's going one extra block over the top here. Now, I thought that was better because it'll bring the flow of the eggs and chickens right here. And when I have water flowing from the other direction, you'll see that this middle bit becomes extra strong and actually becomes a steel block. And I think that was good for the chickens, I forgot, but I did some testing in a previous series. And they kind of just float here up and down, and they just lay eggs, and it, it just works a little bit better if you bring it right to the edge and have this one hitting here, and then one block over, this one hitting seven here, and then one block over. So, hopefully that works out well. Um, I did actually get a chicken coming into this while I was AFK, and a zombie, and a creeper, and I still didn't die. The creeper blew up this wall, the chicken died, and the zombie was stuck in here. So, I'm um, very fortunate for that. But we're going to not be here when it turns night time again, because I don't want that happening again. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the first part of the design. And the second part is this roof. Now, on this side I was planning to do like a pyramid shape up to the middle, but... You don't have to do that if you don't need light in here. You do need light to stop mobs from spawning and killing your chickens. And I do need cobblestone over the water to stop my water turning into ice. Because I'm on top of a... Um, whatever this is. It's a hill. It's a mountain. It's a... Extreme Hills biome. That's what it is. So yeah. That's why I did that. But you don't have to cover it over. And you could just put torches on this back wall or something. That'd be a nice little design if you weren't in a... Extreme Hills with snow. But, I decided to go with the pyramid shape. And on this side, I actually had to dig out the mountain a bit. So I decided not to go with the pyramid shape and just to go with the cobblestone, blocking off the snow again. And some extra torches up there, which I thought looked really nice. So yeah. That's it. That's it. That's my design. Feel free to copy it if you guys want for your own chicken farm. We do not know if this design will actually work 100% yet, but we're going to test it this episode, I'm telling you. We've got to go get this water over here. Which isn't melting, thanks to my well-placed torches that were not um, wasted. They were perfectly placed. And, yep, grab this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come over here. We'll fill up this side first. This will only take a second, guys. And once it's done, that'll be GG for all of our chickens. I don't know how many eggs I actually have. I got nine on me now. I forgot if I actually picked all of them up before I came up here, though. It was a while since my last episode, I forgot guys. You guys are probably watching this right after the last episode and being like, um, Hage, you just took all your eggs out of the chest. 
What are you talking about? But yeah, I did forget because it was a little bit in between these two episodes. Let's grab these and finish this up. And there's something else I want to talk about actually. My girlfriend has actually started YouTube again. She's doing like vlogs and I think she's going to do some like pregnancy vlogs because as you know, she we are having a baby girl coming. And yeah, so she's going to be doing that. She will also maybe play a game or two. Her channel used to be gaming. But I think she she didn't really like playing the game and talking at the same time. Because it is a lot of effort to record. And you need to do quite a lot of planning. So I think she likes the vlog style of stuff. She might even start some cooking things or crafts. Who knows? But she's got a channel in my sub box. Goldie Leofor. Make sure to check her out if you're interested in that stuff. She'll have a lot of good videos coming out. Oh, and she's already got a few that are uploaded right now. So go check them out. A few recent ones. She's got tons of old Minecraft ones. But she got some recent vlogs coming out. And yeah. So here's my chicken farm. Now we just pray that it works. Do you reckon that's a good option? I reckon. One egg. Two egg. Please give me at least two chickens or I'm going to stab you. One chicken. Oh my. What am I meant to do with one chicken? You can't breed one chicken. And it looks like he's not drowning. So that's a plus. This is... Oh no you don't buddy. I've seen this story happen before. I'm out of here. Oh, we can kill him. No, there's no point killing him. Let's just burn him in the fire. The fire of sunlight. He's going to drop down from the cliff and blow up my bed and on my chest. Watch. Please, please sleep. <sighs> oh, I'm up again. Hi. No creepers. Thank you very much. Let's see if we've got any more. Oh, we do have more eggs in here. Score. Score for Hades. Oh, that is right. Give me those eggs. We'll quickly check down here. Just to double check, I didn't accidentally put some eggs in this wood chest. Nope, we're all good. Oh my, dodgy ass creepers everywhere. I don't want to fight in here. If that blows up, that's like five episodes of work gone. Come here. No. Oh, I thought he was going to blow up then. No, I'm, go I'm doing the charge attack, which I like for killing the creepers. Instead of the hit and then move backwards one. It's a bit more exciting. But where the possible... What's the? Did you spawn? I don't understand. Look how light it is in here. That's slight the shit out of this place. You're not going to spawn anywhere, creepers. And with this design, I reckon it's actually pretty good because I'll chuck some torches up here. Yeah, that's where I'll put the torches for the to light the back, because it'll suck for a creeper to spawn in between the chests. And then we go to pick up the chest. Boom! It blows them all up. I just I hate creepers so much, man. They are the, they are what my, what makes Minecraft so good, and they are also what makes Minecraft the worst game in the history of Minecraft. When the creeper blows up, it is the worst game. That's all. Be honest. If you've been working on something for a long time, creeper blows up. Minecraft's the worst game ever. As soon as you get back on roll, back on track, Minecraft becomes the best game ever. It's as simple as that. But anyway, we'll quickly chuck these eggs. Because we want those chickens to grow up as soon as possible. We need to get a small wheat farm going. So we can get seeds to breed the chickens. And then we'll go chop down that wood. So that's quickly... We've got to take on this creeper. <sighs> Who watches Game of Thrones? This is reminding me of Game of Thrones right here. That's, the Game of Thrones is getting pretty intense this early in the season, I have to say. There's water here, and there's stuff going, and I don't... I do have a bow. Okay, that, this all became a lot easier. This is literally like shooting ducks. And we're trying not to hit the chickens, though. Thank you very much. Use a little scroll wheel or not waste my arrow there. And we'll go down here. Thank you very much. How did this actually... the water start flowing down here? Ah, I appear to be missing a sign. A few signs. Well, we can't have a chicken farm until that's sorted. Where is my wood? Where is my wood? I have none, so i got to go all the way back down. Sweet. Actually, I'm so sorry, Mr. Tree. You have become extremely useful. I will rebuild you next Christmas if someone reminds me. But I need the wood, so... Sorry about that. I can't be bothered going all the way back down to my other chests. And we're going to be chucking... Oh, I've only got two arrows. Well, the flint and steel will probably make me more arrows than these two will. And I need the seeds to feed stuff. This isn't going very well, guys. I need some more storage chests up there on the ASAP. But here we go. Let's 
bump this out. Do I have any sticks? No, I don't. So let's get eight sticks. Um, they go like that, and we'll go like this. That'll make me the signs. We'll put the signs here. We'll chuck the sticks out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. Let's get these signs down. Oh, don't let me fall. Oh, did it, like, freeze the game? It freezes me in the water so I don't keep falling down. That is a new feature. I swear that did not happen previously. Have a look at that. You can be typing the sign and the water doesn't push you. And I can't even hear the water running. I'm pretty sure it pauses the game. Let's test it real quick. It pauses the game while you're writing signs. That is definitely a new feature. I have no idea when they added that. But have a look at that, guys. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. But, yeah, that is definitely 100% a new feature. Thank you, Mojang, for that. As always, implementing the best stuff. Because I was getting used to... I used to put these signs down really, really quick. If you go back to my old series, because you would have get washed down and fall down into the little trap thing that collects the eggs. But No! Please, everyone, have a moment of silence for my failed freaking design. Wow, that is some bullshit shit right there. Alright, now I remember what I... Oh, my... Should I put a sign down to pause the game? No, that doesn't even help me. I need to still get stuff from my inventory. So we'll go up here, we'll go... Ugh! This is uh, what I remember I did. This made the water a bit lower, and it also stopped the chickens from getting up into this top bit. Oh, I don't believe I failed that design. Uh, why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> no, it's alright. I think the design's still fairly good. It's just lacking a few minor things. The chicken can't drown in that. It's like millimeters high. Are you shitting me? What happens if we do that? No, nope. that's what happens when you do that. Get rid of it. I wanted to put it up one. Yeah, the water doesn't get knocked down anymore. But when I put it here, the water got knocked down. So I'm pretty sure that's where it drowned, guys. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to do another test, I guess. Just keep testing till we know exactly what's up. Put this like this. And, because we just, don't, we just don't want the chickens going into the deep water. But they should be washed all the way down there. They shouldn't have climbed up that far. But anyway, here we go. One chicken. Two, three. Oh, I nearly knocked that guy out. Ooh, we're pushing it. We don't have many chickens to spare. Alright, so we got three. They'll grow up. We'll feed them some seeds. Get a good chicken farm going. And we can continue making upgrades. See, I've done both sides totally different, but either design you want to copy, make sure. Take the best one. Don't listen to me if I say one's better. It's personal preference. But yeah, that's done now. Tree's gone. Off we go. We'll deposit some stuff. We'll go chop down those trees. We'll finish the chess room, and I'll try and think of something else to do. I do have some comments from some people. Um, so a lot of people were talking about a few things that I'm, I want to kind of check out. So we might go check them out, obviously, a bit later on. We will chuck these down. We won't replant the tree farm just yet. But what I will do is deposit this stuff. And we got a good axe, okay. That's what I was looking for. A good axe to go chop down these trees. See how much... That's how much wood we got. Because this was about five minutes of work. And I reckon I got a lot of wood out of this. This will be able to last me for a very long time. And I shouldn't have to get any wood for a while. Well, I'm kind of pushing it there because everything in Minecraft requires wood. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Also, guys, something else you might be interested in. I just bought myself a DS. That is right, guys. A DS. I think it's a DS Lite. I haven't had a DS ever. The last one I had was Game Boy Advanced. And I had the Game Boy Color. And I had the Game Boy Black and White. But since the DS has started coming out, I've been, I was playing Xbox for a while. And then, of course, I came onto PC. So I actually haven't experienced any of the DSs. So I got the DS Lite because you can play Game Boy Advanced games still. And the newer ones, you couldn't actually play those games. So that's why I wanted the older one. 
Um, for, oh, there was another reason. It was dirt cheap, so I picked it up for really cheap, like 70 bucks for a brand new DS Lite. So that was pretty good. That was in Australian dollars. And I bought a couple of Game Boy Advance games, or planning to. And the ones I do have so far is I have... I've got the CDs right next to me. Not CDs, cartridges, whatever. I got Pokemon Black 2. Never played it. Never played any of that generation. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that's good. I got Pokemon Soul Silver. And the reason I got that is because I played Gold back in the day on my Game Boy Color a ton. So that's why I picked up this um, Soul Silver because I heard it was the same, just a remake. And I've already played Gold, so I thought I'd get Silver. So it's the same type of region Pokemon, um, but it's just newer, I guess. So that's why I bought that. And the other one I bought was Pokemon Platinum. So if you guys have played these games, um, make sure to tell me which one to play first. As I said, if Soul Silver is the same as the old Silver on Game Boy Color, I have already played the Gold version, and I'm a bit of an expert on that. But I bought it just for the the reminiscent sake of going back and remembering stuff. So I take that out. Out of Platinum and Black Two, which one should I play, guys? I don't know, help me out in the comment section below. Make sure to tell me which one to play because I'm I'm going to be starting to play them in my spare time, like on car trips. I do go down to and a lot of car trips. I do have some spare time there and I'm going to be playing them. So tell me which one to play, guys. That'll be a big help. And these trees, are, there's so many of them. This is amazing. But we're getting a ton of wood from it. <laughs> That's all that matters, guys. Chop, chop, chop. And I was actually going to give a rank away today, wasn't I? Oh, I forgot to get a name. I'm going to quickly head over to YouTube, type Control F A. So if you have an A in your name, I will probably select you. And I'm going to scroll down through them all and quickly get the name. Here, I'm alt tabbing. You won't even notice. Where is my latest video? There. Okay, well, that's loading. Let's chop down some more trees. Oh no! It's playing in the background! Stop! That never happened, guys. I wonder if you can hear that. I'm not sure if Windows Sound is being recorded. If it's not being recorded, nothing's happening. I'm just chopping trees. Don't worry about it. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. It's turning night time. We've still got it. We can still chop down these. Now, I'm just going to look on my second screen now. Second screens are amazing, guys. If any of you are into computers, gaming, YouTube, recording, make sure to grab yourself a second screen. It's really good for notes, um, information, wiki pages. Even if you just have Skype open, if something's important, like I do right now, just in case someone's like, all the servers are down, hey, it's quick. I can just pause the record and fix them up. So, yeah. All right. Quickly going to Alt-Tab here. Nothing is happening. You have no proof. And I'm going to find a name. Who wanted a free rank? Control F A. Oh, 340 people posted something with A. Oh no, that's just the amount of A's. Oh well, whatever. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Who will be the lucky winner? Hades is pressing the loading button on the bottom of his um, comment section. He is going to a random part. Now he's using control find to find a random person. Will he find a random person? Yes, he has found a random person. What is he going to do with this random person, you say? He is going to make sure they are subscribed. By clicking on their profile. And then he's going to be clicking again. And he's going to be clicking again. And he has found a winner because this person is subscribed. Congratulations to Steven1973. You have won a free rank on the Hagecraft Prison server. For those of you who don't know what these servers are, check them out in the description. I have mc.mindfrenzy.com and hub.hagecraft.com. Hub.hagecraft.com actually had a major update recently. I should probably talk about that because there was a bit of downtime. We took all the servers down. We moved it to a way better ping connection hub server and proxy server. We have brand new servers coming in the future. We have updated the PvP server with new morphs and new donator commands. We are planning a reset on the PvP server for 1.8. It'll be about a week after 1.8 is released because we've got to wait for the plugins and etc. to update as well. And 
Yeah, everything being upgraded. You can only join the servers on 1.7.5, but you can join the hub on 1.7.9, and the servers will slowly be updated, so you can connect on 1.7.9, and then when 1.7.8, I mean 1.8 comes out, we'll be already using UUIDs, because Minecraft is allowing you to change your username. So that is one of the, that's a major update, but you guys can't really see it, it's in the back end. But yeah, you will be able to change your usernames. And you will keep all your donation perks, because we have done some major back-end updates to support that. So that'll be really good. And yeah, as I said, tons of upgrades coming to Hayescraft server. If you haven't joined it in a while, make sure to check it out. You'll not only have way less ping and a better connection, but there's also a bunch of new things, as I said already. Mainly for the PvP server that's already been processed. But yeah, lots more coming. Please check it out, support me, check out the server. It's a major help, it actually supports my channel a lot when you play on my Minecraft servers because it's my Minecraft servers that really got my channel going, like I've been doing series on them for ages and that's really the core of my channel. So yeah, make sure to check that out guys. My tummy is rumbling because it is 12.30 and I have not been out of my room yet. Literally. I woke up, got on the computer, replied to all the messages, like the important ones on Skype. And then I'm like, I need to get a video out before people get home and there's background noise. So BAM! Hungry Hades. Hungry Hades episode, whatever this is. This is episode 11, is it? 12? Oh, I don't know, you tell me. Look at all these burning mobs. Get out of here. We're going to finish chopping down these trees, wrap this episode up. But anyway, um, I forgot how far I congratulated him enough. But yeah, Steven... 1973 Hadescraft Prison Server. Congratulations. I'll be processing, processing you a rank upgrade. I have no idea what rank you are. So if you happen to be Overlord, I guess you got a free god rank. But whatever. We'll see. You'll get whatever it is. Oh my god. My tummy's rumbling like a madman. Oh my. i got to eat something on the ASAP. Let's chop these trees down. Come on, Lumberjack Hage. You can do it. And also, guys, I'll probably be finishing off that chest room off camera. Just because I'm, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I won't do it this episode. But I do need some help. Tell me what I should build next. Um, great. Awesome. I love it when my axe dies. I mean, is there anything better than your axe dying? I don't think there is. But yeah, tell me what you want me to build, guys, next. I'm thinking of either a enchanting room, a, en a nether portal room, or a farm room for the wheat so we can start feeding the chickens. Or, if none of them suit you, and you all hate all my suggestions, well, don't worry, you can just suggest something else, and I'll most likely build it. Because I have no direct plans, it doesn't really matter, I can do whatever you guys want. This series is for you guys, and yeah. Bam bam, got myself a new axe. Oop, tummy rumbling again. And, also guys, don't forget to chuck the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Make sure to get involved by telling me what Pokemon game to play, um, what you want me to build. Get involved with the, ser with the series, because the more you get involved, the more you will enjoy it, and the more I can please all the subscribers and get a really good build, a really good world out of this series. And of course, the world downloads every 10 episodes, so don't forget that as well. And... Please enter the competition. Don't forget, you make sure to enter the competition by posting your in-game name and what server you want to free rank for. I'm going to try and do one every single episode. So if I do 100 episodes of this, that is 100 free ranks being given away. I've already given away over 100 ranks, I reckon, throughout all my series. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth commenting for that free rank. And you just have to be subscribed and chuck the video a like and you have you have a good chance of winning a free rank. So yeah, make sure to do it guys. I'm punching these leaves to get the saplings. Gonna wrap this episode up. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you later.